Do you remember the day you got your first bra? Chances are it was probably pretty embarrassing. So what do you do when it's time for your teen to hit that milestone? Here to help us through it is stylist and mom of four, Janice Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> I have to emphasize that. Yeah, but thankfully only one bra experience. <laughs> so yeah. tell me about yours or Keely's, your, your eldest daughter. Uh, so, do you remember? Yes, yeah, so for me, I was desperate for a bra because socially everyone else had one and I was still totally behind without a need for years for a bra and I was just wanting one so bad <laughs> right and then even when I went out there was no selection there was these ones that came in a box and they were like $4.99 and it was the nastiest nylon with some puckering I which you had to fill out and of course I didn't have anything to fill out right, right? <laughs> but socially in gym class I wanted to have something like it was embarrassing yeah whereas my daughter is so funny because it's as soon as she was like, yeah, in grade seven, I'm like, I should probably have something. Again, she didn't have too much, but she needed some coverage. And again, it was the gym class. I went out and I like scoured every store. I came home with bags. I'm like, here and here and here. And she was like, whoa, I get it. <laughs> Clearly, you didn't have any options as a child. I'm good. <laughs> but then she had a friend who was tiny, but had quite a substantial, all of a sudden, uh, size cup. And so, yeah. but she didn't want to talk about it at all. So she would come to our house. House. She would go through Keely's drawers. She'd pull out what she'd like. Yeah. I would message her mom. Her mom would buy them and put them in the drawer. And that's how this girl wanted it. Oh my it. gosh, that's She awesome. wanted nothing to be talked about. She was so, so it's such a personal, intimate experience. Yes. And you just have to know your child. You really do. So yes. it can be really embarrassing. I love that Keely's like, calm down. Yes, no, no. <laughs> she's like, here. I'm going to need you here, mom. I only she need applies one. that to so many different things so where hilarious. she's like, I get it. In your childhood, you didn't have this. <laughs> I'm good. Like, she's so low key. And I'm like, <gasps> Okay, okay, okay. And the, the benefits of having a stylist mommy. I know, it's um, a bad thing. We got great stories from uh, some of our viewers. Anna said, nothing more embarrassing than this. My dad took it upon himself to go buy me my first training bra. Oh. Without me. <laughs> my mom was as shocked as I was. 47 years later, I think I'm still traumatized. That's what she said. <laughs> and then another one. My mom used to work at Sears. I took a bus to where she proudly worked for many years, and I thought we would just go quietly into the bra section. No, no, no. My mom loudly whispered to her co-workers, who were helping customers, <laughs> that we were getting my first bra, and I needed measuring now for my daughter and her little boobies. Yeah. So, like, it, it's one of those situations you always you always remember. I, my first training bra was actually a hand-me-down, which oh. was maybe was maybe sort of um, symptomatic of the era. Yes. Like, we lived in a small community, and I think my mother knew that I wasn't going to be needing a bra for a training bra for very long so it was like my neighbor like she brought over a selection I picked one and that was that I wasn't even embarrassed about it no now you have brought some of the cutest <sighs> options I, I wish these options existed well that is part of the problem right like and you know the parents now there was no options so yeah. now just a heads up there are so much out there yeah and there's so much that you can actually start sooner because I think that the girls you know this day and age there's a, as soon as there's a little bit of something they want, they want coverage. coverage yeah and so where to go is is a good start is the tank top um, and you want to look for a nice thin lingerie strap and a double lining because when you yeah. talk to the girls it's not necessarily that they need um, lots uh, like they need the, the piece they just want to feel secure and that Covered. means tightness right mm -hmm. so the double layer is key and then you can go into some junior sports bras those are cute those are very cute and you know the sports bra get a bad gets a bad name once you get to this size where you have the uniboo but then yeah. it's just again <laughs> nice coverage added warmth and then you get into the bralette oh so that's what these that's are called? what these ones are so again it's a nice double layer yeah it's got wicking material so it's gonna be nice and comfortable and take away all of the moisture and you can actually like wear these they're more comfortable it pulls it all together right they're not so you have the nice little kind of um, crisscross at the back these are adjustable straps are these still considered a bralette yes because it's that 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 um, light fabric, it's okay. not really got a cup. Um, these ones are from Marwen, okay. and they're super cute because they actually, 
They have these buttons at the back that make it adjustable. You can switch the strap back and forth. But what they've done is made it, well, you, they've made it appropriate for the girl's age. So sometimes when you're mm -hmm. younger, you all of a sudden you have breasts, but you're still emotionally young. So you right. don't need some sort of crazy animal lacy. fringe or lacy. Right. You want something simple, but still fitting with your age. So they've actually designed, you can do a button or you can do, they have rosettes. They're actually doing little decor and you can decorate the straps. That's very cute. And so that's Look at fitting that. little girls, not little girls, young girls, young girls want yeah. to decorate things. Yes. So this works in with that. That is really cute. And then you, it's all inexpensive. You can get these little bralette packages of three. Just hold that up first okay, for a sec. Sorry. Yep. Yes. Like Beautiful. Cute. I uh, like this little pink one. Look at that band in the racer back. Nice. And that's a package of three under $20. Good. Yes. That's a good little starter kit. No, exactly. Right. right? And now we're moving into ones that have got a little bit more of a foam cup. Yeah. And again, these are different cups than what we're used to, right? So right. it's nice, it's soft, it just gives that extra layer. Mm -hmm. So we're going into those. Um, this is made in form. So there's three brands you must know. And yeah. it's Calvin Klein, made in form, and then the Maren. And okay. so those are every option for every age, easing into a proper bra. Right. And the sizes, so once you get into these actual bras, the sizes you can get, because you know, tiny girls can have um, full breasts. Substantial boobs, yes. yeah. So 30 AA, you can order online. This is Ari, another great brand. And all of this also applies to bathing suits. Like this Maren, they're doing bathing suits. Ari does bathing suits. Buy them the cup size, yeah. buy them the pieces, and then you can mix and match. But it's all about finding ones that are appropriate for their emotional age right. as well as their physical size. Tons of options. Yes. And you can get it done. To get away from the embarrassment factor, yes. if that is a situation with your uh, with your daughter, would you suggest maybe perusing online? And that like yes. maybe they don't want to come with you into yes. the store. Yeah. So then you can show all the options online. Yeah. They can pick, you know, whether they're a bralette or an undershirt or a sports bra. Yeah. And then you can go get them. I think this day and age, like this generation, is so much more informed of the Tell options than we. It. Like we grew, I grew up in a small town and it was Zeller's. That was our only yes, store. Yeah. And so that, those, our entire high school went to Zeller's to buy their first yes, bra. Yes, we went thing. to Byway. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so it was like so, little Bloomies <laughs> underwear, little Bloomies bras. Yeah, There's like no support bloom. whatsoever. No, well you didn't need support initially. You support. Yes. They were just cute. Yeah. Um, so I think they're so much more aware of the options yeah. and the variety and the online shopping. So I think this generation is coming to us saying, I needed whether they needed be physically or whether they needed emotionally yeah this is they're gonna probably lead the bus on that way you're probably right and Ari is great because they also have that um, a, an amazing campaign because it's not touched up it's every size uh, and these ones are their sports bras which again if you're young but bigger you can yeah. get away and because it's got the V it's not so sports bra that's right it's very so it's cute thank you for the lesson Shannon. Absolutely.